Good morning, y'all. So today we're finally getting back to the vlogs, which I'm very excited because we're in a new place again. <laughs> I feel like we're always in a new place. I've been trying to put my personality into my apartment. So I have this cute little Prada poster with pink, of course, because we're a girl. And then I've had this forever, but I put this in my bathroom. It says the world is yours. And then I have this cute little setup right here. Love, love, love. <laughs> okay, y'all, look how cute. Basically our celebration, y'all. So we have 100K, period. We have 100K on a lot of other platforms, literally all of them that y'all subscribe to and follow and support and I love all of you guys so much and that's why we live like this, that's why I live like this. And I appreciate you guys so much and I'm so thankful for you guys to be with me on my journey. But yeah. And then I got this really cute little bow thing from Ross from TJ Maxx. I just like it because it holds my hair back. A lot of times we think we need something to be able to get into a certain spot or at a certain point in our life. And I promise you, you don't. You can get anywhere just by being you, simply being you. So I use this and then I use the collagen and retinol deep moisturizing lotion. And then I'm gonna use the. I'm officially a boba fan, like truly a boba fan. Got these little ones, they're cute. Just little mini drinks. I remember the first time I tried boba, I think I didn't like it because of all the bubbles. Or you know what I'm saying, like the little ball things. I didn't like the texture, but now y'all, I don't know. My wave now is kind of boba and energy drinks and water, of course. Let me tell you because a lot of you girls ask me and I feel like we're all at the ages where you're either in a relationship or you're kind of going through a relationship or you're married, whatever, you have interest. I bought one of these things that's been so convenient, literally. And I built it from TJ Maxx, I think for $10. But since I feel like a lot of us are going through relationships or I had a bunch of questions, how to get over a relationship or what I think about no contact, all that y'all. And what helped me truly just like completely move on and get over a relationship is not answering. Like if they're texting you, you just can't answer. You have to remember why you broke up. You have to remember all the bad things like yes you had good things as well but there's a reason that it got to this point and there's a reason that you guys went from being with each other living with each other doing things with each other to going into full no contact like just think about that and i'm someone if i already had you like a hundred percent i don't want to have you 10 percent 5 percent 50 75 so that's just kind of how i am and I feel like it helps. It's a really good outlook as well because then you're not gonna wanna put yourself in those shoes or whatever. And y'all, I bought, I didn't buy these. Gave me these and they're cuticle oil things. It's just kind of extra thing that makes me feel like a baddie because my nails are healthy and all that. Anyways, a key tip is to use a really lighter concealer for your eyebrows. And then of course, just use one that's 
closer to your shade and a little bit lighter for your under eyes and i know with breakups you always want to reach out or you're gonna have a thought one day when you're alone or whatever but one thing that i heard that has truly helped me if you only associate or you only miss that person when you're lonely or you feel left out or you just feel sad or anything like that like not a happy emotion then maybe you shouldn't reach out maybe they're not as good for you as you think they are or whatever but say if you have a good moment and you're like dang i really wish i could share this moment with them because of the way they made you feel or the way we would like um share this moment together those times can be hard and sometimes things that helped me cope and everything was like putting things in my notes or you could write things in your journal but honestly just completely staring away from that stuff in general is obviously going to help you just get over it so much quicker stop associating things with them don't listen to songs that you guys listen to like you kind of have to dump those things sadly and it sucks especially if you were with the person for a while because you're gonna miss things that you truly like as well or like food places and stuff like that and later on you'll of course be mature enough and you'll be able to grasp the point of detachment to them and those things and you'll be able to live your life again but just to freshly move on and not be so stuck with all the pain and everything like that it's just dumping everything and finding your new way of life things you enjoy new memories associate things with positives instead of negatives and make sure you find friends that want to like do positive things healthy things not just like go to the club or meet guys and that's how you get over him like no have a friend that's just like oh girl like i'll come and hang out with you or girl we could do this like of course yes get out and experience new people but you also don't want to make that your whole concept or like your whole point into heal that shouldn't be your first way to heal yes it is obviously the easiest way to heal at first or you at least think so because you're like oh let me go to the next person but i promise you you're just going to bring yourself more pain because you're going to realize that you weren't ready to move on so soon or you'll probably just like it's just gonna be hard so to me i think stay to yourself find new hobbies find new things to do surround yourself with family if you have it surround yourself with positive friends make new friends really spend time alone and with yourself honestly just be you from being in a relationship just realize now you're a new person this is a new chapter of your life you're able to blossom New things are gonna come to you and I promise you it's okay. And life is, life is beautiful. It's also gonna be very scary and challenging. But I also look at it, if you always have everything so good and so happy happen to you, how are you ever gonna be grateful for the good things that you do get in your life? Because if everything's so perfect, babe, what are you truly gonna be grateful for? Like, yes, you could be grateful that things are always right, but if you never experience anything bad, you're never gonna know how really great it is to me. The thing that is kind of crazy to me is how much I've tapped into kind of like my, I don't know, as well as right now, I'm pretty tapped into like my feminine energy and just being like a softer person and I really don't cuss a lot. I really don't unless I'm super stressed out or whatever, but it's honestly crazy because I thought by just being by myself, so by being by myself so much more that I would naturally just have more masculine temptations i guess and i would feel a lot more pressure but i feel like since i'm by myself now and i truly know it's just me paying my bills or me just working on myself that i don't feel masculine like i'm just simply taking care of myself taking care of my wants and my needs and it's in my control and i also have so much time to take care of myself within and i can surround myself with pink things things i enjoy like I don't have to worry about anything. The only times that I was like stressed out is obviously when I had like court situations and stuff like that. But even in those situations, y'all, I was very, I was so sad and vulnerable and I was like, please help me. Like y'all know I'm not supposed to be in here. That's another thing. Like I've just learned like 
well, I've always known this, but I'm just not ashamed of my story or like who I am. Like if people want to post my mugshot, you want to post it. Like you really looked it up. I've never looked up anyone's mugshot in my life. <laughs> and just like, it was for speeding y'all. Like I'm not a murderer. I was speeding. My license just happened to whatever expire. Literally like the day before, which I didn't even know, just happened to get pulled over the next day. Yes, it was wrong to speed. Am I a murderer? No. Did I have drugs on me? No. Was I even high? No. <laughs> like y'all, things literally just happen. And I've just learned like, if I already put it out there or if I'm not like, truly i don't know like yes i am ashamed of it but i'm never ashamed of it when someone puts it back in my face if that makes sense because i know a lot of people could never even go through it or would just they'd be baffled to even believe how you get treated in there and just like the type of circumstances you're gonna be in and the real people you're around like you're literally with murderers killers rapists girls that killed their baby daddy girls that just got stabbed girls that ran away from their pimp like I don't know, I'm just someone that's really been through the real deal spilled through every situation and it's not just internet stuff, like, I don't know, the way, y'all, the way I keep myself together is insane and the way that I always have structure in my life is insane, like, I was got my nails in hair done, same routine, like, workout, everything, like, I don't know, like, yes, I'm obviously ashamed and it's the worst thing I would ever be ashamed of, I can't believe it. It even happened to me and I was sick to my stomach for days and I literally wanted to end it all <laughs> That everything was just public and stuff, but I'm not a killer. I didn't have drugs on me I'm not in the cartel. It was speeding and just consequences, whatever it happened But never let someone try to use your story against you to make you feel ashamed of who you are is I guess what I'm saying as long as you walk in it and you know no one else really could that's all that matters when someone asked me like what are my biggest achievements this year having a clothing brand a town home being able to have my dogs there having a high rise being with family more being closer to just everything kind of finding myself more honestly and just being a better person truly and just loving me honestly and just being able to kind of speak my mind and not really care if people are gonna like it or they're not gonna like it and just knowing that i'll find my people and those people will align with me and things just come and go and that's okay that's why we live life that's why we experience new things and change is okay too it's probably gonna be very terrifying but you'll get through it and you'll get through it for a reason so just stay you, y'all, and in this lifetime and in the time we're in right now, everyone's so materialistic, and I promise you those material things don't matter. And when you kind of see a lot of it all in one area, it kind of looks crazy, honestly. Like, you're like, damn, everyone really just spent a bag to show up. But to each their own, y'all, and just love you, be you. You know you'll get through it and go to school focus on your career focus on your passion never lose sight of your dreams y'all janet jackson said that never lose sight of your dreams always chase your dreams people and that's not who I am and that's also why I've been caught up a lot because my mind has just been clouded and people pleasing and just not taking care of myself and y'all like I still take care of myself but I just say when I say I'm not taking care of myself I always mean that mentally but we're back on our routine y'all 
I just straightened my hair. I'm not wearing makeup. I'm literally forcing myself again for this month just to not put on makeup, literally, because I have natural beauty, y'all, and I don't have to put, I don't even do that. Every morning, I color coat my calendar, basically, and I just go through it, and all my colors need a certain thing. So yeah, this has helped me the most. I got this at Ross. Y'all, this gets you a planner. I have little um, sticky notes to keep me on task and everything, but yeah. So today's Sunday, so we're just gonna do a little Sunday reset, get caught up on things for Monday and today. Okay, so now that we have our day set out and we have a little guideline reference sheet that we can go back to, y'all, we can get on. I'm not wearing makeup. I just used this little elf brow. Y'all, don't look at my nails. I just took off my nails because I just need to be able to be confident, be myself, not having all the little extra add-ons, so. And it's Sunday. I can get new nails. <laughs> y'all, and today I have to post my hair promo that's like part of my job. And then I need to schedule a blow appointment and you guys ask me when I go get my hair done the next time if I'll bring you guys along. And of course, I just didn't know if you guys want to see that or if it's like repetitive or whatever, but definitely we'll give it to y'all. Wow, I love that. That's like my favorite part. And then now I'm going to put on lotion and we're going to use this. What I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear this little jacket. Got this cute little workout top and these leggings. Then I'm gonna put on running shoes and we're gonna go. I am and I'm on my period, so I'm gonna take pain relief. Yeah, I made this little smoothie bowl thing last night. It's literally still cold, <laughs> but it's literally just pineapple, cranberries, and strawberries so yeah i made this for the morning but it's a little bit cold right now and it's only seven so i'll have this when i come back and i might go to like a smoothie store on the way we'll just see how it goes when i'm outside but tip for the morning I 
feel the same What's a life with no fun Please don't be so ashamed I've had mine, you've had yours Hey y'all, so I'm going to get my nails done right now They, they won't get you like I will My only wish is I die real Cause that truth hurts and those lies hell And you can't sleep thinking that he lies still So you cry still, tears all in a pillowcase Big girls out nails done what do we think i did silver i normally do gold but yes y'all i did my hair myself very cute i kind of got back into like the little chill fit i've been dressing really girly and just girly but yeah so this is the fit today calm chill got my nails done hair done and we worked out I called Fashion Nova, got my business stuff done, I've gotten all my emails, I'm promoting something very exciting that you guys get to join soon. We need workout routines and what I'm doing literally in the moment in the second because I'm not allowed to post any of the content anywhere else so it's literally only for you and we can talk in literally everything y'all. <laughs> Pushing me away so I give a space out Feeling with a heart that I didn't break I'll be there for you, I will care for you I keep thinking you just don't know Trying to run from that, say you're done with that On your face, girl, it just don't show When you're ready, just say you're ready When all the baggage just say it's heavy And the party's over, just don't forget me We'll change the pace and we'll just go slow I sell literally every item and it goes so quick, but I haven't done it for a year, so I'm getting back into it. So make sure you check my page so y'all can shop my clothes. Thank you. 